Enjoy a great glass of wine. It is National Drink Wine Day, and Rayleigh's is here to help us celebrate. Wine expert Curtis Mann is here showing us his favorite picks from around the world. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning, Leticia. What do you have for us here? Quite the selection of wine. Yes, so what we decided, well, today is National Drink Wine Day, so it was figured if you're going to be at home, you can travel the world and not even have to leave your couch. Oh, I like that. There. It's not as expensive, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the first wine that we brought is from um, the Edna Valley, so uh, we wanted to find a great place in California to visit. Edna sure. Valley is one of my favorite places. It's right south of San Luis Obispo. Oh, I've never this been. Is the tan okay. tangent Pinot Gris. Okay. Um, just an absolute beautiful region. In fact, one of the coolest regions in all of California because it's so close to the ocean. Um, and that's such a pretty little wine nice. there. That's okay. uh, Pinot Gris, um, somewhat similar to Chardonnay, but a little bit lighter in style. It smells so good. Yeah. So, so wine for breakfast again. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and try yeah, so, th so that's, uh, you know, Pinot Gris has light. a really light, Very refreshing. Crisp, yes. Exactly. Love it. Um, and then as we leave California and we head to Spain, um, we're also uh, talking today about a very popular varietal, Albarino. Oh. Albarino is on the uh, coast, also a coastal varietal of Rioche Bajas sure. in, in Spain. Uh, very uh, wet region, but the wines are, are really pretty. Uh, there's a nice salinity to these wines. Okay. They're great food pairings. So it's a little different than this one here a, that I tried? A, a little bit okay. more, um, say, uh, biting on the palate, but in a good way. Okay, so that could pair well with anything? With seafood shellfish. It's oh, okay. a perfect shellfish combination. Oh, that's a nice combination. And what do we have next? And then uh, we're going to travel from Spain to France. We oh, have. I want to go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sign well, me up. One of the best places in France to visit is the Loire Valley. It's the bread basket of France. Oh. There's a lot of great food. Uh, you can get an amazing meal for 20 euros, uh, you know, like a, a Michelin star uh, meal. And some of the oh. wine that comes out of the area is, is very uh, popular these days. Chinon, which is made from the Cabernet Franc uh, grape. Uh, and, and this is a, a good example of one that's, uh, you know, a, a lighter style red wine. Okay, um, nice. With, with a, a little bit of earthiness to, to really pair against some of those great foods would, that they make. What would something like this cost you? Um, that one's in the in the low twenties. Okay, so not bad at all. No, not too expensive. Some of the best wine that I had when I went to Paris was the house wines at the oh, restaurant. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. And then um, these other two wines here. The next two, we're going to go to the southern hemisphere. Two beautiful places in the world. We've got the Mountain Beautiful Pinot Noir, which is in mm. uh, North Canterbury, which is a, a, on the South Island of New Zealand, um, and they make some incredible Pinot. Uh, Riesling, uh, Pinot Gris, and Sauvignon Blanc. So tell me the difference, Pinot, uh, Pinot Noir versus like a Cabernet. Is it a little bit lighter? Uh, exactly. Okay. So you can see here we have a Shiraz and we have a, a Pinot Noir and the, and the Pinot is, as you can see, a little bit lighter color okay. um, versus the Shiraz which is a darker color. The, the skins are thicker on the Shiraz so you get that okay. darker color when you make the wine. So if someone prefers white wine, this might be a good transition wine to see if you like red wine? Absolutely. Okay. Actually, both the Chinon and the, uh, the Pinot Noir from New Zealand are, are good transition wines. Okay, and lastly? And then finally mm -hmm. we have um, the Billmore Shiraz, um, which is from Barossa Valley in Australia, and Barossa okay. is really taking off. Uh, it's a very interesting place in the world. It's, it looks very similar to California when you visit. Um, the only difference is that they drive on the other side of the road, and uh, instead of having deer, there are <laughs> uh, kangaroos. So, you know, it's just a, it, it's a beautiful place, and the, these wines are really intense, and they're not too expensive. This wine sells in the low 20s. It's got a lot oh, of complexity to terrific. it. Terrific. So, uh, so they offer a lot of great value. So we hope you can pick all these up at Rayleigh's or one of these. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you can pick up one or all of them. You can travel the world today. <laughs> Curtis, thank you so much. What a great experience today. And obviously learn about wine and about places around the world. Sure. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Leticia. We'll be right back with a look at sports.